Hi friends, it's Amy and I'm your sewing teacher. And we're here today to talk a little bit about templates. I first mentioned templates when I did my video called $15 store hacks for $40. If you want to watch that video because you haven't yet, you'll find that up in the cards. I think it's actually on this side. So first off, there are templates that you can buy from some bag makers. So you buy the pattern, um, no, you buy the template instead of the pattern and the instructions come with it. But a lot of bag makers don't make templates. So I started making templates. There are two kinds of mediums that I use for templates. They're both from the dollar store. First one, that's the chopping mats. And these chopping mats come in a set of two. And then the other thing that I like to use, and this one is kind of my favorite because this is a placemat from um, Dollarama in Canada. And for $2, I got this, here's my head, so you can kind of see how big it is. So it has foam on one side and it has vinyl on the other side. So I really like this one because it has the vinyl and it has the foam. It actually creates more of an edge for me to use when I'm using my rotary blade. I can go right up against that and I can go really evenly and not ever veer off of um, the direction that I need to be going in. So I, I don't miscut, like I don't miscut at all when I use um, these templates. Once in a while, if I am using just paper or if I'm using one of these templates, it, it's easier to veer off. It's harder to kind of keep it a butt because it's not really very thick. Whereas this one is nice and thick and you can just keep it right a butt and just keep going all the way along. If you are asked me, well, what do you do if you're doing a garment or you're doing something big? I have only made templates for one pair of pants. Um, and it's a pair of pants that I make for my son all the time, so I need to keep that. So what I did for him is I used these ones, and then I used duct tape from the dollar store, and I duct taped them together, and then they fold in on themselves, and they, fold, they store really easily because they're small. But another viewer said that she really likes to um, take the pattern piece, if she's cutting it, or trace the pattern piece, and then she actually puts fusible interfacing on top of the pattern and then cuts it out and then she has a fabric template which is really fantastic for a garment so i'm going to today make a template for a sock pattern so this is a sock pattern that is free and it's on the internet and i'm going to put that link down below in the description this is the ellie and mac sew it forward sock pattern and the reason why I chose this one to do a template for today is because I'm actually making um, wool socks tomorrow I'm making wool socks wool mittens and wool hats all from the same sweaters tomorrow so I really wanted to um, make a template for this one and another reason why I wanted to make a template for this one was because um, a lot of designers where you pay for their pattern um, they don't want you putting their pattern on video um, without permission because people can screenshot and then they can um, steal parts of the pattern and we don't want that. We want all designers to get the accolades that they deserve for all that fantastic design work that they do. But Ellie and Mac, this is a free pattern. Anybody can have access to it. So I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to attach them to the template and then I'm going to show you how great uh, it is to use the template. This is the Ellie and Mac Sew It Forward sock pattern. It is very simple sock pattern. It has four pieces. It has a front, a back, a bottom, and a band. And so I have cut out all four pieces. You saw me do that earlier. And I glued together some of the pieces that were, um, that were separate. There's the four pieces. Now I'm going to glue my four pieces onto my foam core placemat. But what I 
I would be remiss to not mention one of my viewers said, well, you, I can eliminate a whole step for you. She oh. says, don't print it on printer paper and then glue it on to the template. She said, buy the full sheet sticker paper and put that in your printer and then just cut it out, peel it off and stick it on. And I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Now I bought this today and I didn't use this today because I had already printed out the pattern, but I am definitely gonna try that hack next time. And I am sure I will mention that in another hack video. You can use any kind of glue to put these on. You could use a spray adhesive. Um, I love my spray adhesive, but it is quite smelly and I don't like to spray in the house since it's very cold and snowy here in Canada right now. I'm not going to spray, um, go outside to use the spray adhesive. The other thing you can use is the, the glue sticks. Um, I picked these up at the dollar store, as I mentioned in my hack, very much um, use, I use those all the time in my sewing practice. And the other one that I hadn't mentioned was that you can use these glue runners. These are in the craft section at the dollar store and they are so handy and really easy to apply. The thing with these is that they're meant to be for like a scrapbook or for something else. So um, all you have to do is is run it along the paper and then you can glue it down. So I'm going to use this one because this one's a little bit faster today. So watch me glue. So I'm back, as you can tell. I don't know why I said so I'm back. I forgot to tell you that I'm actually making this template for the largest size that you could cut out. And I'm sure that you noticed that, um, that there is the ability to cut the size that you want according to the size chart so depending on which size you want which is here in the middle sorry upside down <laughs> here in the middle um, depending on which size you want is which color you would like to cut out so the smallest that this one goes to is the size 9 10 child and then it goes to size 14, 15 at all. So next I am, so now that they're all glued on, so you can see that all four of those fit onto one placemat. I'm gonna cut those out now, and then I will be right back and we'll talk a little bit more. So there you go. I have now got myself these really great foam templates. This gets a binder clip and it's really easy to then keep your stuff together. So let me just show you exactly how this works with my rotary cutter. Um, I think that that's gonna kind of sell you on the idea of using the one with the foam core versus using the chopping board one. The other reason why this one is really great, and I hadn't mentioned this before, is that this one I can put directly on my fabric and it won't slip because this grips the fabric so there's no actual slipping. So I can put my hand, I can put my hand on top and I can use my rotary cutter. When I use these ones, they are a little bit more slippy and I actually have to go back to the dollar store and buy those little um, felt bottoms that you use for your chairs to protect your floor. And then I put a little piece of those on the template and then that helps me grip. It also gives me a little bit of height and it makes it a little bit more substantial for, um, for using my rotary cutter. But let me just show you what it looks like. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a rotary cutter with these, 
then you can just use a piece of chalk or a piece of soap and trace all the way around this on your fabric and then use your good scissors. So really it's a preference thing at this point. So I really wanted to thank you so very much for joining me today. This is another sewing hack. This is how to make your own templates. I really hope that you enjoyed this video today and you could press the like button and maybe you could comment and maybe subscribe and click those notifications so that every Sunday you'll know when the video is coming. Have a great week.